everybody, it's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. He's a singer, he's a songwriter. You might have heard him produce a little thing here and there. He might have been your favorite man crush on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Back in the day, put your hands together for Leon Thomas. Thank you, thank you. That was a great intro. So, Leon Thomas has produced or written or co produced, what have you, has been a part of some of my favorite songs in the last decade. Mm, thank you. Go ahead and pick this up. We see it down there. All pick right. it up. Yes, Give him a little taste of what you can do on this instrument, All Leon right. Thomas the third. At age 12, I was in a movie called August Rush. With, yes, you um, were. Robin Williams and Terrence Howard. And I had to learn how to play for the movie. Uh huh. Um, and just ever since then, it's been love at first sight. I'm not gonna lie, it's been amazing. Oh, Leon, yeah. you have a resume, sir. Man, thank you. You just named two legends. You was, I was in a film with them, and that's when I learned. It just And you can continuously drop names like that. Your name is a part of that whole caliber of excellence, which is crazy. Man, bro. Thanks. Half of the Rascals. Give it up for the Rascals. Yeah, the Rascals. Shout out my boy Chris Reddick Ties. Gotta give him his luck. The two of y'all need to go to jail. <laughs> y'all should oh, be please, locked not that. up. <laughs> Nah, they, you should be locked up for some of the hits. Y'all yeah. have y'all have really like cons consistently over years just given us hits and hits and hits. Nah, it's my boy, man. It's been a crazy process. I mean, I met him in uh, one of Babyface's studios, uh -huh. and um, Babyface is a huge mentor of his and also yeah. mine as well. And um, it just seemed natural, you know. We started mm. making music and. You know, I, I ended up going from going probably like once every couple months into yeah. going every day. Yeah. And, um, Babyface really showed a lot of love and opened the doors to a studio and just let us kind of vibe out. Yeah. I love that. A little old show called Victorious. Yes, sir. N not a little old show at all. It was a huge show for Nickelodeon. How did you book that role? That was a crazy process. You know, yeah. Nickelodeon actually picked me up when I was 13 years old for mm -hmm. a development deal where they gave me like mm -hmm. a, a record deal. And they also were trying to figure out if there was a show that I could be put on. And, yeah. You know, that just seemed like a really good fit being that it was about music yes. and, and, and acting and stuff like that. So uh, I flew out to meet Dan Schneider mm -hmm. did my, my big audition in L.A. And I got the news back in New York a couple weeks later. And booked it. Now, I saw you in Insecure. Y'all, y'all wasn't insecure, just doing nasty shit. Just acting up, <laughs> acting up. <laughs> Absolutely said, acting up. It was a lot, but you know, they really made everybody feel comfortable on set. That's you good. You know, clothes set, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it was my first sex scene. Yeah. Like completely naked and, yeah. you know, in that whole mix. So, yeah, and you came from Victorious. Lot. Yeah. I said, look at Andre, my yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, shit. Andre is grown. Yeah. <laughs> Liam. And you're gonna have to hold this guitar through this whole game. Oh, don't do that. Oh, scene. yeah. Whatever you sing, you must play. Oh, well, that's when a When I problem. give you the. <laughs> <laughs> I know less songs than LeBron, so we want oh, to be out here. Like, oh, <laughs> we want to catch a vibe. <laughs> so, like, yeah, just like. Well, yourself, we about brother. to find out. We about to figure this one out, because, <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> 
I love him. <laughs> Here are the rules to the game, Leon. All I'm right. gonna give you a word. Okay. And you're gonna have 11 seconds, and 11 seconds only, uh, to sing the first song with that word and the lyrics of the title that comes to your head. Here's your first word, and family, friends, you can't have, I don't want anybody mouthing nothing. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh, Jada? All right. <laughs> the first word is only. Mmm. Only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, now nah, you in for one, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You were in for one, cause I don't have it for you. You don't got one for only? Mm-mm. You sing R and B and soul. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, want... <laughs> it doesn't does not matter. Y'all always <laughs> crying about being somebody's only one. And one. Only, yeah, you my yeah. only girl line. And then like <laughs> <"Word>, yeah, <thanks>. <laughs> <laughs> You only got one. Well, let me give you another uh, one. All right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, strike keep it one. Strike one. Here we Just go. Listen, I'm about to strike through this whole month. You better not. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> the word is turn. Turn. Okay. Hop about the bed, turn my swag on. <laughs> Said I look in the mirror, say what's up. Yeah, I'm getting money. Yeah, I said, hop about the bed, turn my swag on, and I look in the mirror, say, What's up? Hey, I'm getting money. Oh. <laughs> I said, My swag on. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Soldier did what? Yeah, yeah. The great, the Soldier great songwriter. <laughs> he says, songwriter said, hop <laughs> about the bed to my swag on. Yeah. That Soldier, you can Come never, ever, don't you ever try to sing that song ever again. <laughs> Not in this house. You sing down. Man, we just catching a vibe. Where did you start singing the, singing what? Well, I started singing. <laughs> I started singing at ten years old. Friend. Oh, friend. Uh huh. This is an oldie but classic. I love an oldie but goodie. Come on. You've got a friend in me. <laughs> I say you've got a friend in me. <laughs> when the road is long and I'm not in the sea, I say you've got a friend in me. I will shout right here. <laughs> Crash and burn, crash and burn. That's my record, yeah. Now, if it's your own damn song, you better sing more of it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sell some records. Crash and Burn is the new one. Crash and Burn was a really special record. I was working with a really good friend of mine, Fax Only. Um, he's a producer that I did uh, Pipe Down with for Drake. Yes. And um, it was just a really good link up. You know, we were kind of collaborating a lot around that time, and that's one of the songs that came out Come in the batch. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me that everybody is trying to get in with you and the rascal. It's a blessing. It's been a process, but yeah, yeah I'm, but really, I'm really thankful. This process, in the beginning of it, took a lot of studying and practice and failing. Yeah. In order true. to get to where you are. Yeah. The one thing that you couldn't do was quit. Right. If you would've quit, we wouldn't have got here. Come on now. Snooze. I testify for you. I do that three, four times a year. I testify for you. I kill that bitch. I told her that I do what all of them are just scared to do. I'm not. Long as you just get not dead for me. I got it. Mobbing the skin. Look, I Joe body. Long as you dreaming for me, ain't no problem. I ain't got nobody just with you right now. Tell the truth, I look better under you. I can't lose. Yeah. When I'm with you, I can Snooze and miss the moment. You just so important. Nobody, nobody like you do. And lose when I'm with you. Uh, how can I snooze and miss the moment? You just so important. Nobody, nobody like you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! <laughs> All right. Woo! Well, shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
SZA wrote the hell out of that song, and I, I'm, I'm really thankful to be a part of it um, yes. in the production space. I, yes. I, I co-produced that, you know, with Babyface and Chris and my, my. my boy BLK. So we all got together and made that beat, and she really snapped. She on really that top snapped. Time. Is a good word. Yeah, she snapped. It's just a good she song. She said, "I'll kill that bitch." Yeah, <laughs> she talking shit. She's talking shit, bro. Okay. By the yeah. time I got this news, I said, "Girl, you already told me earlier in the project you was Come killing." On, Bitches. <laughs> Somebody wanna tell us? She said, listen, we're gonna run that back. Okay. We're gonna run that I back. I tell that lie for the judge. I said, you gonna purge yourself? <laughs> Super goddamn! Whenever I see your name on the credits, I just already know. I can just go right there and I'm gonna get what I need. One of my favorite songs that you ever put your hands on. And you're oh, never shit. you're not gonna know what I'm gonna say. It's an unexpected that's, one. That's a trip. Okay. Okay. So when I was, I don't know when this was, it was like 2014, there was an album that came out and I was still like buying them at this time. Work. CDs, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Cause I just like, I like holding music. Back there I have a ton of vinyls to this day. I like, I love holding yeah. music, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got this CD and I put it in my old hoopty and it was Tony Braxton. Oh, and baby fans. yeah. And I tore that little CD man, up man. from start to finish. Love, marriage, and divorce. Never experienced any of them. Have all <laughs> have that album. Now the song that you did on that album, mm -hmm. I'd rather be broke. That's right. Than with you. You know what was really beautiful about that song? Um, I don't know if you know uh, Kevin Ross. We originally were doing stuff with Kevin Ross and Kevin and, had been on the show ninety times. That's yes. amazing. That's amazing. That's my dog, man. He's so really Kev. cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was definitely the vibe. Mm. Uh, we were we were kind of working on a record for him, and, and Tony heard it and you know rehashed it, yeah, you know, lyrically to really fit her her vibe. And and um, it was such a great, great, great opportunity. Another man. legend. Yeah. Oh, this is a good word. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> If it's magic, it's a Stevie. Stevie, If it's magic, this gym would sound good, Stevie. But I remember magic. That's the best. At least I had magic. I'm gonna give you a layer. All right, bro. Okay. <laughs> when does this like is there is there more man like <laughs> Leon does this have there stop? are 15 words oh up my here. god <laughs> lord jesus please you've done five you've done five uh, right, it's so a 30 minute show word, Leon. Word, 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 word. i thought it was like yeah, all right cool <laughs> i just didn't know i'm gonna give you a word and you can make up a song all right. Write it. Is that going to be more the speed? That will be more my speed. Okay, Thank yeah, you, dude sir. Was asking Thank some you, shit. sir. Okay, yeah. now, I'm going to give you the word. Make it up as you go, okay? Okay. We can watch your whole process. Don't even worry about it. All right. All right. So the word is please, and Leon is going to make up a new song. And y'all can't steal this. Publishing. All right. Publishing. <laughs>
man. Thanks, man. We're gonna play a game I created that I like to call I Know You Fucking Lying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I. In this stack yeah. are categories. When you pick up the card, you have to immediately say, I can name one thing in this category. And the other person will say, well, I can name two. And then go on and so on and so forth until one person believes that somebody lying. Right, right. And if you believe that that person is lying, you're gonna say, I know you're fucking lying. Bring on the shot glasses. Uh, right, yeah. Bodies of water. All right. Mm -hmm. I can name one body of water. Okay, I can name two. I got three. You fucking lying. Three bodies of water. Come on, let's see. Leon, I don't know how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. The clock going. Go. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Indian Ocean. All right, well, here we go. Another <laughs> shot for you. Good old shot for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my excuse to drink. <laughs> let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Songs produced by Tim Blue. Okay. I think I can name two. Oh, you're gonna jump. Okay, I can name three. You fucking lie. You can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this shot going, man. <laughs> Leon! Let's go. You ready? <laughs> Are you that somebody? Okay. Say it right. That's Nelly Furtado. Carry out. That's him and Justin Timberlake. Wait. All right, wait, wait. Carry right. out. That's how it works. Wait, 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 wait. I guess that's how it works. What happened? He produced it. I guess it's a shot for your boy. <laughs> Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> oh, this is horrible, bro. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, that's so random. <laughs> so random. I can name one type of salad dressing. Oh, I can name two. Okay, I can name three. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can name four for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you fucking right. Oh, uh, where? Four. Go. Four? Okay. <clears throat> Balsamic vinaigrette. Okay. Okay. Ranch. Mm, that's a good okay, one. Okay, Italian dressing. All right. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, um, you better run your way through it. Yeah, I don't know, brother. One more! Fuck it, I'll just give up. I don't mind another shot. Think of the country! <laughs> what? The country! What do you, what do you mean? I already said, oh, oh, French dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get it? I didn't cheat for your ass. Anyway, it's the whole team of the shot. All right, so let's. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, <laughs> oh, I thought we get one more oh, celebration okay, too. Okay, I take the shot. Oh, okay. Things of the circuit. Okay. You gotta start with one? Oh yeah, I think I can name one. I can name two. So I can name three. I can name four circular things. I can yes. name five. I can name six. Well, I can name seven. I know you're fucking lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to say right now to the entire world, that you got yourself a basketball, oh. you got yourself a baseball, okay? You got yourself a plate, right? You know, certain types of seats. Come, a seat, okay. a, yeah, seat fine, a seat, a yeah, seat. There, there, there are square seats. I you better hurry ass up. Yeah, right, okay. oh, 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 shit, shit, I got three more, I got three more. All right, um, the world. <laughs> I'll say the world. That's so, I'll, say I'll say the moon. I'll say the moon. <laughs> one more. I'll say the sun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He got one. Finally. <laughs> He's asking me on the fucking show. <laughs> Wait a minute. I gotta take the shot. To all things circular. <laughs> to all things circular. Game show host. Okay. All right. I can name one. I got two. I can name three. I got four. I can name five. I got six. No, you fucking lying. <laughs> you said go. Steve Harvey. Dick Clark. Okay. Alex Trebek. All right. Pat Sajak. Uh. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> okay. No, she ain't did that shit. Hold up. <laughs> oh! Uh. Oh, game shows, Terrell, what the F? Oh, where's the clock at? Richard, Richard, <laughs> Richard, Richard, Richard Dawson. <laughs> and, 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 what, what? Oh, what? it's time, man. Yeah, I guess you gotta take Who, that I shot, I know I though. forgot somebody bad. Who yeah, did I forget? I don't know. Who was it? Nick Cannon, I'm a fool Nick for Cannon. that. <laughs> Clap for that game. I love that. You did well. Now, I mentioned Ariana Grande at the top because yeah. you've written so and produced so many things with her, and I'm not even gonna name all of them because it would take too long. But I mean, Honeymoon Avenue, Tattooed Heart, Loving It, You'll Never Know, Safety Net, Nasty, and there's so many more. What mm -hmm. is your favorite collaboration that you've done? 
man, Honeymoon Avenue was probably one of my favorites. Um, shout out to Tommy Brown. Like the track was already pretty much done, but they had us like reproduce it. Mm -hmm. And um, we made the call to have like a 12 piece orchestra come in. Wow. So we went to the Capitol building. And I was like 19, 20, especially early on in producing. I was like the closest thing to feeling like Quincy Jones, you know, like mm -hmm. putting shit together that felt like epic. You I know? love that because that is an epic song. It was an epic moment. Was there. that that was the first album? First album, yeah. First track, yeah. Do you have a particular process when you are in the studio producing or writing that you kind of like to follow to make your best stuff? I think the best way to be creative is not necessarily to just be unorthodox, but I think every situation has its own uh, prescription. So mm -hmm. like there's certain artists who are kind of closed off. They're not as mm. like open-minded. Um, so for them, I would have like pre-made tracks that they can listen to. Mm -hmm. but there's other artists that I know who are musicians who are down to mm. sit and like really like listen to us create the track from scratch and we'll sit there and we'll talk about their life and we'll like tailor make a, a hook for them. Yeah. And that to me is such an, a really special moment, you know, because seeing something kind of appear from magic after it being like nothing in the room is, yeah. is probably one of the biggest biggest moments mm. I think I love about making music. Cause like yeah. you walk in not knowing what you're gonna walk out with, but yeah. Okay, now tell me this, what's the craziest in-studio moment you've ever witnessed? That boy Mario was doing push-ups in the booth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was doing real life push-ups, man. What? And like, we was like trying to figure it out. One time the tape was going and all you could hear was <laughs> And we're like, huh? <laughs> you like, yo fam, you what? Like, <laughs> was he about to go somewhere? I don't know what was going on, but my man was getting ready for all things, you know, shirt off, and uh, was just like ready to do those push-ups in the booth. It was actually my first time producing somebody that I like was a huge fan of. You can't even sing right when you win. What is happening in the booth? I don't know. He was singing his ass off. Okay. Hey, that nigga was singing his ass off. He said, <laughs> I want to know your name. Hey, exactly. no, 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 no. <laughs> How do I breathe? I don't know. You're doing too many push-ups. You just throw your ass down. You'll figure it out. Point. All right. I got a, a good song. You better that. have one. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I do oh have that's the song for that. You really know it because you don't pick up the good song. For real. Come on. for me to listen when it's miles and miles of distance for your heart is drifting but you're right there I call you home but I might be alone oh, I can hear it in your tone we're in the danger zone in the danger zone Way past the breaking point Cause I can't turn down the noise You are my only choice And we're both just feeling voids yeah. Way past the breaking point oh, Cause I can't turn down the noise You are my only choice and we're both just feeling voids Breaking point Breaking point Said, oh, yeah, yeah. They told me love was fragile They told me love was breakable I thought that I could handle But that is still debatable I thought that this was for me But it's feeling impossible Breaking point yeah, breaking point. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah,
off the upcoming album called Electric Dust. Electric Dust. And I don't know why his dust got electricity, but <laughs> he gonna tell us right now. Yeah, it's all based off of this drive-in movie theater. Yeah. California, it's been around since the 60s. While I was doing this whole album, I was watching movies. Mm. So it's a big part of it all. I wanted to kind of tie in like how I made it. I think it's more so about date night. Mm. I think it can be your first date or it can be the first date you've had in a long time. Mm. And I think it's just more so about people kind of reflecting on the different stages that we have throughout a relationship. Yeah. You know, that honeymoon phase, that phase of just still feeling like you're getting to know that person and even getting to the point where you don't know if it's forever or not. Yeah. And um, a lot of the lyrics kind of point towards those three different stages. He wiggled his way through this episode, God damn it, but he got here, okay? Hallelujah. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm excited for what's coming up next for you with Yo, this album. You, bro. This yeah. is a new era for Leon. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm excited for this era, and so are they. I'm proud of you, son. Sir. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm somebody's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Thank daddy you, am Mr. I? <laughs> I appreciate you, sir. Who's father, man? I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> Thank you for having me, man. Well done. Ah. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Leon Thomas, and thank you so much for watching The Terrell Show. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to let you know my brand new album, Electric Dusk, is coming out soon. All right, y'all. Peace. Okay. Now, you did that well. <laughs>